You shut up. You don't know anything about me. Neither does your pal, Tomas. Tomas knows you killed your brother. You're setting a trap for him to keep him quiet. What are you planning to do to him? All right, that's enough questions. You'll never get away get with him. Get him out of here. Tomas? Where are you going? I got a call. A lead about the murder. What's the lead? Who called you? I can't talk about it right now. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to celebrate another time. Of course. You know what? Before I go, I want to give you something. Was that a baby bracelet? It was mine. See the beads that look like eyes? Yeah, these are to protect against the evil eye, el mal de ojo. Right. Are I willing to give it to me when I was born? I've held on to it all these years for good luck, John. No, I want you baby to have it. Well, what makes you think you don't need some good luck? I mean, don't you want to keep it? I'm mm, feeling pretty lucky lately. Maybe it's time to share some of that luck. Gracias, hermano. I love you, Parito. You know what? No matter what, it's definitely gonna be one lucky baby. Have you as a mom. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Conscious was telling me what I already know. And that dream was actually a reality, but everything is messed up and it's all my fault. No. You can't beat yourself up like that. John, why couldn't I have just remembered? None of this would be happening. Natalie. No, this is your fault. None of it. Okay, I'm not gonna let you do that. Hey. We're on the stretch, right? We're almost to Michigan. We're gonna get our little boy back. I promise you. Just as we were about to get on the plane, airport security flagged me, so we ended up driving here. I can't lose my son. Brody. I know he's not mine. But I love him like he's my own flesh and blood. I would lay down my life for this kid. And I feel for you, Brody. I do. But you can't stay here. Please, just... just until morning. What? So you can watch the sun come up as they haul me back to prison? No, thanks. But if you leave now, I can say I never saw you. You're right. I... Well, go. I'm sorry. Nadine, I never meant to put you in this position. And what about Liam's mother? You sure you want to do this? Take her kid away from her? I never meant to hurt Natalie. I never meant for any of this to happen. Well, but it did, didn't it? I never saw you, okay? I'm going out to get cigarettes. Better be gone when I get back. Told you I'm good. Yeah, you're good, all right. At cheating. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You've got the king of spades up your sleeve. I do not. Okay, I do. How did you know that? Nobody has ever caught that little trick. Not even you? Oh, you're good. Mm-hmm. I sure am. Just like you, formed con artists. And I think between the two of us, we shouldn't have a problem finding Cutter and getting you all the answers you need. Cutter, I understand how angry you must be. I wasn't much of a mother. No. No, not much. But... There's more to one side of the story. I have felt so much pain in my life, too. Really? Yes. Really? Because, Mom, it seems like you're doing just fine. Living it up in Brazil, getting tune-ups from Dr. Fascinella. I'm sorry, what happened? Was there a shortage of muscle relaxers? Cutter, you have no idea. I am not cut out to be a mom. I shouldn't be anybody's mother. Believe me. Yeah. God only knows what would have happened to you if I'd stayed. <laughs> and quite frankly, you weren't the easiest child in the world either. Excuse me? Well, you certainly lived up to your name. You loved to run around with scissors, and I was at the end of my tether when you <sighs> cut my mink into little pieces. 
I'm sure you managed to find another one. Yeah, I, that's not the point. And it doesn't make any difference. It, I, I did. It's, I, it's just that you were so much better off without me. Better off? Yes. Look at you. You're healthy. You're handsome. And Aubrey, I'm sure... Well, I'm sure she has a great personality. You really think we were better off? Parentless? Unloved in foster care? We couldn't even get Dad's life insurance because he killed himself. I, d I didn't know that. But there is a lot more to the story that you don't know. I've had a very difficult and complicated life, more complicated and difficult than you could ever imagine. And I wish that I could have a chance to tell you my side of the story. I'd like that. Actually, I would. I'd, um, I'd like to hear your side of the story, um, but not here. Uh, someplace quiet, maybe, uh, where we could talk alone. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you sure about this? I can only imagine what your father would say about a charm bracelet for a baby to ward off the evil eye of Malio. <laughs> your father was never a very superstitious dude. Besides, he would have said, who needs good luck with me as a father? Louis Dupre. Lou, you here? It's Tomas Delgado. Nothing to be afraid of. Come on out. Just want to talk to you about Todd Manning. Louis, is that... I think this is a good idea for you to be alone with her. Why wouldn't it be? Because you're so angry and your mother is, well, she's a little weird. Don't worry about me, I'll be okay. I just, you must be so overwhelmed. I have no idea what this feels like. Thanks, but I've actually been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, well, I'll be right out here in case you need backup. Thanks. Good. I thought maybe you made a run for it. And miss this opportunity? Not on your life. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you giving me a chance to tell you my side of the story. That's not why we're here. It's not? Then why? So I can keep a promise I made to myself. Something I knew I had to do if I ever saw you again. <laughs> You are a genius. I told you I could help you, and not just because I speak a little Portuguese. How did you know which cab driver to show Cutter's photo to? Cutter always gets the cab with the oldest driver. He figures the older the driver, the less he'll remember who got in his cab. Except that didn't work this time. No. Not only did he recognize Cutter, but he remembered where he took him. And then he had a woman with him. Who was wearing sunglasses. Sorry, he couldn't tell if she looked like Gigi's picture. Well, what is this place, anyway? Dr. Fashionella. Why would Cutter come all the way to Brazil to see a doctor? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Well, kid, your Aunt Nadine is right. Can't let her get in trouble again, so... I know we're both tired, but we're gonna have to keep moving. But I... I promise you, Liam, I'm gonna find a way to get us into Canada. And then we can start over. Just the two of us. Come on.